Hi guys, it's Ouch Woman O. How's everyone doing? Good, 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 I hope. Today I'm doing a review on Ely Saab's Le Parfum in White. I've been wearing this a lot since I got it, kind of at the end of the day, sometimes in the morning, just depends. I've been actually sampling a lot of things recently, but when a sample that I'm trying has vanished or not been very good, I've been kind of wearing this one a lot and since I got it, I've been really enjoying it. So I wanted to do a review on it for you. So if you're already a fan of the original Ely Saab Le Parfum, which I am, you will know that Ely Saab does orange blossom very well. That is kind of the signature of the brand when it comes to the Le Parfum and its flankers. And this one is a really great addition. Oh. The original one was elegant. It was, of course, an orange blossom perfume. There was a bit of patchouli, a little bit of rose as well, and cedarwood. This one is the more full-bodied, smoother cousin of that one. It came out in 2018, and I don't really see it in shops so much, but I do see it online quite a lot, so it is still available. I always say you can find anything if you look hard enough. I was gifted my lovely bottle by my perfume fairy godmother, Margie. So if you watch this, thank you. I've really, really been enjoying this, as I said. And yeah, it's just great. So let me tell you the notes. So the top notes are orange blossom, gonna be the theme. Red berries, mandarin and bergamot. The red berries aren't really specified. Doesn't say strawberry, doesn't say raspberry, doesn't say cherry. Is cherry a berry? The heart notes are peach and jasmine and the base notes are amber, white musk, patchouli, benzoin, vanilla and tolu balsam. As usual in reviews, I'm gonna spray it on my hand. I wore this a lot yesterday. I think most of the mills that have gone missing out of this bottle have been me. Oh, it's so pleasant. So I will start by saying that while the other one was lighter, kind of bridal feeling to me, really clean, honeyed orange blossom oh honey that was another note that was prominent in the other one so this one is the smoother version this one has a much heavier base and the opening is my favorite part you definitely have that syrupy orange blossom with a tart berry going through it this one like i said is way smoother than the other one but mingled in there you have this little punch of a berry feeling and if I had to put it on something, it leans kind of more like a raspberry than anything else. But that's just being kind of vague-ish. It definitely feels fruitier than the other one. I wouldn't necessarily say it's obviously a red berry, but hazarding a guess, it's kind of raspberry-like. If not, just imagine a tart berry-like note, multiple berries kind of mingled in among a honeyed orange blossom and then you immediately can feel the base as well. This one has something that I usually talk about negatively, but for me in this one, it's positive. It does have that airport perfume kind of smell when you walk into an airport and you get hit with a lot of white musk and smoothed out florals that don't necessarily feel real, but still smell nice. It's got some of that going on. It's a really easy spray and go, and it packs a big punch as well when you first put it on. It's very sweet as well and I would be interested to know, I'll tell you something a little bit personal, I actually make perfume sweeter. My skin turns things very sweet so I have to be careful about what I wear. I tend to stay away from sweeter things and this one is just on the cusp of how sweet I'm willing to go. I would be interested to see what it's like on other people that do not turn things sweet because I can imagine it would be even more beautiful. There's definitely a carefree beauty to this perfume. It does have the slightest tinge of something that could be considered tropical, I would say, and I don't know how or why. It's not coconut, but it feels like a sunny holiday vacation type of perfume that you would wear in hot weather. Do be mindful of the sweetness though. Just a little word of warning. This one has a lot of heavy, smoother notes in the base. So this one's much more ambery. This one's much more vanilla-y. And this one has white musk playing as well, playing around in there and amongst this sweetness. It's kind of fighting to get out. I will say that. It's kind of trying to peck its way out of the, of the base notes, but you can feel it in there. And it's what gives the fragrance its clean streak underneath. So 
lots of things happening, but ultimately the perfume is super rounded off and smooth. There's nothing sharp about it. The orange blossom is the backbone and I wouldn't expect anything less from Ely Saab. That's kind of what they do when it comes to this line. So if I had to compare it to anything, because my perfume fairy godmother sent me two Ely Saab perfumes at the same time, this is in the realm of Jean-Paul Gaultier's classic essence, you know, the one in the faceted lady bust bottle. If you like that, if you like that kind of orange popsicle, creamsicle kind of fragrance that isn't overly sweet, definitely give this one a try. I've, I just really enjoy wearing it. I don't know, I've just taken a shine to it somehow. The other one is actually even closer to the, the Jean-Paul Gaultier, but both are, both are. The other one's called Eclat d'Or, by the way. That's it. That's all the elements described to you, how prominently they stick out to me. The longevity is medium. It feels like it's gonna be one of those mega long lasting perfumes, but I get about half a day out of it, which I think is pretty good anyway, considering the price. It's not that expensive anymore. So yeah, I get about six, maybe seven hours out of it. I know that's not half a day, but I mean half a day of being awake. <laughs> yeah, just really, really nice. I, I, if you like the original one, I would definitely say try this one out. I think it's worth it. It's different enough to not just be where they've tweaked one note and called it a flanker and tried to get some money out of you. There are new elements at play with this one, with the sweetness and the smoothness and the vanilla and the ambriness and the white mask and stuff like that. So it's lovely. It's a really lovely perfume. I wouldn't say it's as elegant as the other one, the other one to me, like I said, is a bit more bridal. This one's a slightly more casual version of the original. So that's my review of Ely Saab La Parfum in white. I hope you like this video. I'm Ouch Mamano, trying to make the world smell better, one video at a time. I'll see you guys soon, goodbye.